The grass is growing, the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. It's not really shining in real life today, it's kind of pretty mostly cloudy out there. So, I'm in this area, or this is where I was in the last video, and I was heading to, to get this shrine here, which to get to it requires us to go into a cave here. We're actually down here, and there's also a Korok over here, but that's all on low land right there. And it's going to require a lot of climbing for us to get around here, and I don't have any rockets in my inventory. So what I was thinking was maybe just make a you know, a fast travel point, a travel medallion, just put it here, go get the rockets, and then come back here. Okay, so this is kind of weird. I've never run into this before. It says I have two of them here, yet I can't place one here. I don't know what's wrong with this place. Like, it seems fine to me. It's a pretty place. Maybe because the ground isn't even enough or something. Huh. Because I would like to come back here later, maybe if I place it in the sun. Oh, I guess the sun is shining. How about that? You know, like maybe right here. I don't know. Okay, I can place it right here. All right, there was something going on back there. I guess I couldn't do that. Anyway, well, like I was saying, I want to go get rockets. So there's two places we could get them. We could try the South Hyrule Sky Archipelago. There's one here. There's also one up here in Hebra. This might be a little tricky to get to, but the wind temple is very high up, so it shouldn't be a problem. But also, the one in Hebra only has four options for what it can dispense, so you're more likely to get rockets if you go to that one. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not sure about the one in South Hyrule, that one might only have four as well. I think there's some that only have three, but whether or not any of those have rockets is a total mystery to me. Anyway, yeah, it's always fun to go back to a temple, you know. It's fun to have other uses for the temples besides doing them, you know. Like, you never really got to go back to the forest temple in Ocarina and do anything with that, you know. Anyway, so we'll just go over here. Oh, it's cold up here, man. It's so cold. Oh, hey, a treasure chest. Wow. I missed a treasure chest in the Wind Temple. By golly. Let's get that. Oh, man, I thought I saw that light. Or, man, I can't believe I thought I saw that dragon earlier, and then it turned out to be a waterfall. Like, our current height, well, 1483, that's not that high. Also, I'm cold. I need to get out of here. So let's uh, get as far as we can before we have to jump. There's also an island up there. I suspect that's probably going to be where the crystal is that we have to take to the thing. Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> I love that sound. Bloop, bloop. It's just cute. Oh, wow. We used up every last bit of it there, didn't we? I didn't realize I was that close to running out. Okay. Well, all right. Let's dump them in. This is a new device dispenser, so this will register on the map, too. That kind of helps. And it'll be even better when we get a warp point after they come back here. White light wing sled. Hey, we didn't have those before. Wing light wing cart sled light light sled. Wait a minute. Oh, hey, hang on. This was supposed to only have four. I might have the wrong one here then. I wonder if it's over there. On this island that just happens to look like the other ones. You know what? Well, here, let me activate the warp point and then we can just come back to this later because this is not what I'm doing right now. This is just a detour for later things. Also, there's a rusty claymore that we can't carry. And there's a Zonai charge right there. Actually, will this activate a warp if you haven't picked up the crystal, I wonder? Hmm. I'm pretty sure it will. Alright, so is that a warp spot? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Then I'm gonna try the, uh, the ones to the west of the temple, then. See if it's not over there, because I see another island over there. Mm hmm. Like, do you ever stop and think how mind-blowing it is that you don't have to go through a loading screen to go between these two areas? Like, what the heck, dude? Well, that's a treasure chest right there. Anyway, Hardy Bass. There are several of these up here, so if you ever need Hardy Bass, this is the place to look for them. I'm gonna grab a picture of them while I have a chance. Yes, I know, there's a shrine here. Well, well there they are. Hardy Bass, baby. Get them. I'm actually not sure whether I'm gonna do Goron or Zora for the second dungeon. I could just go crazy and just do Gerudo. I could do that. So I remember thinking I was going to do Gerudo first, because when you first see the ability that you get for that one, the, like the Sage ability, it's kind of mind-blowing. You think, oh my god, this would be great to have for like large groups of enemies, which it is. But then you kind of, you know, you play around with it, and then you start doing other stuff, and half the time you forget it's even there. And, you know, it's not really that necessary, considering all the other ways that you can go about handling large groups of enemies. 
so... Which is not to say that it's not useful at all, but there are enough alternatives that I don't feel like it's a priority. It's not something you should go out of your way to get early. So, so I'm probably not gonna, I'm probably gonna do Gerudo last. I don't remember which one I did last. I think I did Goron last in Breath of the Wild. And I used to definitely do Goron fairly early. That's a balloon burst. Okay, cool. I think that's all we really need there. Oh, there's also like this thing where you can um, drain the water from the upper level to the lower level, but I think you actually have to go up there to do it. I don't remember why you do this either, but I remember that it's a thing you can do. Let's just get this up here. Watch the water drain down. Watch the fish drown. Well, here's the thing now. The moment you let go of this, it's gonna basically fall back down and the water's gonna go all back up to the top tub. So, what you might want to do is recall it so it doesn't do that. Do I go for the hardy bass or do I do whatever I need to do with this? I guess it's nothing then. <coughs> oh well. Now yeah, we'll worry about that later. So, zone I charge. And zone I charge. You never have too many of them, boy, I tell ya. It's really too bad that those don't respawn though. And then again, like, it's not that big a deal. Like, I don't find myself running out of those very often or anything. We haven't run out of them so far. So there's a. Wow, this shrine's already done for us, just sitting here. Well, hell, dude. Ejo O Shrine. Shall we do it? This is what I'm talking about. You get distracted and you f forget that all you came over here to do was get rockets. Now we're doing a shrine because what the hell? Like if it was a crystal shrine, I would have been more inclined to just walk away from it. But if it's already there, then you might as well do it now. Do it now! What is this? More than defense. Oh, more than defense. You know, more than defense from your shield. That you use it just to wield. <laughs> Take dumps on. Okay. So the point of the shrine is to teach you that shields are, wait for it, more than defense. So let's, let's not recall, let's fuse. I was not trying to, what did I just do there? Where did I just fuse to my shield? I fused a stick to it. That is so stupid. Destroy that. But we can't carry any more shields. So what shield are we going to get rid of here? I seriously don't know. Probably just this one. Not only is it a lower number, but it's also an asymmetrical design. And you would not believe how much that plays into what I, how, the choices I make about what shields I take around with me in this game. But here we go. Once again, flame meter shields are cool, but man, do they break fast. It's like literally 10 seconds, maybe 15, and they're just gone. As long as we still have it, might as well make the best of it. <clears throat> Arrow times five. See, I like treasure chests with stuff like that. It's seemingly inconsequential, but I tell you. Oh. I see what you're doing. I see what you're trying to tell me here. So do I have to get this shield now and give up some other one that I have? Or do I need to fuse that? Here, here's the thing. Actually, well, I have enough other shields. Why not just fuse it to a different one here? We could fuse a stone slab to a shield that becomes a stone slab shield. Yep. <laughs> the link is just not even there. You just go into your sub screen and there's a wall. Good lord, dude. Anyway, hold this out. Well, put your weapon away. Hold it out. And you can withstand the burniest of flames, the burniest of sanders. Actually, sand is pretty good at putting out flames, too, so there's always that. This guy's gonna try to fuse, so we need to get rid of him as soon as possible. He is rocketing! He is rocketing! I'm gonna die! I can't believe I didn't die there. Alright, hang on. I need to start making more food. I'm running out of food here. Oh, hey, tough seafood fried defense. Take it! And let's put on our good armor here so we can... We don't need to. This guy's gonna take, like, well... I was gonna say, we don't need to, these guys gotta take like one more hit. Then he didn't take one more hit. He did, but he didn't. Anyway, and in case somehow you didn't know after all this time that you could do this, fuse a rocket to a shield and you can jump super high with it. It even gives you some shields here, some really shitty shields. 
Like, why would you have such a shitty shields, man? So, fuse to rocket. Since they're here. So I guess this is another shrine where you might want to mark it so you can just come back if you want to make more rocket shields and you just didn't have enough rockets. I mean, they're giving you so many rockets here. So many chances to use this. You can even fuse it to a kite shield. It just seems like it would tear that kite shield to shreds, but... Nope. Okay. Well, let's make sure we know where we're jumping first, and then we jump. <laughs> you gotta admit, though, the first time you see that, the first time you do that, it's like, oh my god, that is a thing. That's why Tulin is not Revali's Gale, because you don't need no stinking Revali's Gale. You just use that. I thought I was at, like, five. I must have turned him... Oh, right, because I turned him into that one statue in Hatino. Okay. Okay, so let's see if this is the device. To this probably is, because the shrine was about rockets, so it would make sense they'd give you some rockets over here to just kind of play around with. Now that we have rocket shields, we can basically go back and do the thing that I, where I set the trap on the medallion, just go back and do that now. But now it's like, I, I don't know if I want to. <laughs> too many other things going on here. I want to go to the depths and just mess around some more. I want to go see a great fairy. I want to do all this stuff. Yeah, you get rockets here. Hell yeah, dude. Time bomb rocket, time bomb rocket, time bomb rocket. Let's put another batch. You know what? I'm literally never going to use these for anything else. And rockets are so damn good. Well, wait. What else? If I'm going to use it on something, yeah, maybe not this one. There's also something else we can still get from here that we haven't seen yet. At least we haven't seen it from this one. Like, if it's something you've already seen, it doesn't mean it's going to say that it's there. Because if you haven't seen it from this machine, then it's just going to be question marks when you look on the map or whatever. So, rocket, 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 time bomb, flame meter, rocket, 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 time bomb, portable pots, that's the other thing. Well, those are actually pretty good. But we also have no shortage of those in here. We have, well, we have ten of them. That's not that many. I mean, but it's enough to get us by for right now, so... There is more to do here, but this is not what I set out to do. How many times can I tell myself that? It's not what I set out to do. Jeez. Go get that great fairy, man. Go bowling. Anyway, I'm going back here. Besides, this place is cozy, man. I want to spend more time here. Like, the sky can be cozy, too, but sometimes it's just a little too bright. Sometimes it's just a little too yellow. Sometimes a little too weedy. It just feels like the whole thing is wheat. Wheat fields for days. Like those wheat fields in Dragon Quest XI where you can find that one thing hidden within them. Oh, right, and the memory. I did say I was going to go back and do this, too. Okay, so this memory is actually, like, a little further north than you would think. It's like the, like the glyph goes all the way out to here, and I'm pretty sure the Korok is on the very tip. But the memory itself is, like, up here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Because I remember thinking that last time I did it, like, oh. Oh, wait, actually, that's it right over there. Shit, dude. Man, gotta love having good times. Here we go. Let's do it. Examine. Let's see what kind of memory we can not react to this time. Should I? Well, yeah, I'm afraid if I skip the beginning part, it's gonna skip the whole memory. I don't want to do that. But we've seen this. Like, oh god. This is another thing where if you added up all the times you watch this, I mean, this right here, this first, this is like 20 seconds right here. Can't we just get to the point? Zelda, we are alone as you requested. What was it you wanted to discuss with me in private? <laughs> you are far too trusting. Dude! <laughs> I don't think so. Oh Get my. that shit out of here. I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. Oh, she's so badass at this moment. quite out of character for the Zelda I know. But then Look, stop you laughing, you're trying to watch the scene. Did you really think we hadn't realized your deceit? <laughs> Just comes walking out there. Hmm, should have let it go all the way. Oh god, that's cursed. Look at my sandals. Dude. Oh, 
that moment when you know it's happening. Oh, fuck that moment, man. There's like a movie scene somewhere. I'll talk about that after this is over. If I remember to. <laughs> Those teeth, man. <laughs> oh my god, I man, it's so disappointing that Ganon doesn't have a better motive for what he's doing in this game besides just power. You know, because this is the best he's ever looked. I will go on record saying that. This is the best Ganondorf has ever looked. It's not surprising, given it's the latest game and all. I mean, he's had some pretty interesting designs. Like, he looked pretty good in Twilight Princess. His look in Wind Waker, along with his attitude, was stellar. Like, it was exemplary. It was everything. And the way he looks in this game, that laugh there just now, I just... You wouldn't expect his face to be that flexible, first of all. But then it is. He just opens up his mouth and it's like, holy fuck, man. Anyway, what I was about to say there was, there's a movie, I can't remember which movie it was, but there's a scene where a guy is like stabbing another person and he talks about that moment that the knife goes in, the look in the person's eyes, and the line that he says about it is, I love the look in their eyes, they just can't believe that it's actually happening. And it's so true, because anytime you dream about stuff like that, you dream about drowning, you dream about whatever, that's what you think. You think, I can't believe it's actually happening. Because you don't think that it ever will. And then it does. And it's like, thankfully, you don't have to think for very long, but good lord, man. Boy, did they do Sonya dirty in this game. Like, that was not nice, you know? You don't take all the time to nurture and develop this new character. And then you just offer halfway into the memories. Like, that was the seventh memory. There's like 18 of them. So, like, these are the ones we've seen so far. Number one is mysteriously still not there, which I always thought was kind of fascinating. Like, okay. But it makes sense with the whole rewind thing that it would that you wouldn't know the beginning before you knew the rest of it. This is what we've seen so far. And then this is what we have left to go. It goes all the way up to 18. A lot of those are just like... I mean, most of them are the memories that you find, but only up to, like, 14 or 15, and then it goes on its own, kind of, from that point. Ah, oh, I see you there. Would you like to, uh, do the thing? Get your man all close up, and let's, uh, let's muddle bud. I think I only confused one of them. I'll use another one. I found, like, six of them. Alright, let's just let them fight among themselves, or... You now, some of them got away from it, somehow. Um... I'm gonna decide how I'm gonna do this here. All right, let's get your best weapon, doesn't matter. All right, come here, you. Yeah, flurry rushing is a little too easy in this game, honestly. It was in Breath of the Wild, too, and it kind of breaks it a little bit. Am I not wearing my best armor here? Let's try that again. Oh, you're gonna do this. No, well, I guess you got to. <laughs> Okay, don't kill the confused one. Yeah, right, let's watch them fight each other. Oh, hell yeah. I'm just gonna sneak strike you on here. Well, there's no sneak strike. Oh, he's gonna charge him. Oh, hell yeah, dude. He's not even confused. He just got so mad. He's like, bro, how dare you do this to me? Okay, wow, back off a little bit. There's too many of these. Oh, he's calling them over to himself. Okay. Well, that's the perfect time to use a bomb arrow. Let's go. Oh, man, they just went flying. Okay. Now that we got him spread out a little bit, let's take him down one by one. Or not. Well, here, let's Topaz. I haven't done much of that yet. Did he actually block that? I don't know. Yeah, they can totally, like, block that with their shields. Oh, Tulin's up there getting him from behind. Hell yeah, Tulin. You're so cool. Man, I love the man. I love the bird. He's such a good bird. He's such a good boy. I'm just gonna keep hitting this guy with fire. When he throws rocks, I just move out of the way. And just every now and then drop a fireball in there. Add a little more damage, get them on their toes. Get them jumping around like chickens with their heads cut off. And uh, Ruby Scepter, uh, let's go with this for now. We're breaking a lot of weapons here. Wait, what do you have in your backpack? It doesn't matter now, does it? Oh, get out there with that shield, man. 
get into water. You know what I should be doing is using mushrooms, good lord. He had palm fruit in his backpack. What are you ever gonna do with palm fruit, dude? You're gonna eat it? The guy's coming around. Oh, there's so many options here. What do I even wanna do? Still locked on to the other guy here. Alright, that's good. And now all we have left is you. I think I will attach a hearty truffle to you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna ice fruit it here. So we can get some massive damage. It's too bad you can't ice fruit and then sneak strike because holy crap. Get you in the butt. That's a big ass sword he's got too, so. Uh... I was just gonna say, I wonder if he hit me with that, if it would actually kill me. I was wondering. Alright, I guess we know now, don't we? You guys ever heard of crowd control? Oh, you're about to. Boom. Watch him fly. What? Why did it stop? Did they hit it? That's weird. Try that again. <laughs> oh yeah, is, is it like running out of battery power though? I'm not sure. That's kind of weird. Maybe when they hit it, it stops. Yeah, I killed off some of them and then I thought, you know, maybe I should use my, like, Zonai devices. Yeah, the battery's not running out. They're just deactivating it somehow. Or something. Well, this is fun. I do this all day, man. You gotta watch out for that, though. That's got some range on it. Yeah, get all the crits in the world, man. <laughs> get you in the side there, right in the kidneys, man. Oh, he's charging. He is charging. What is that all about? You know, maybe I should eat something just to make sure. Wow, you're gonna miss now? There we go. Are you dead yet? Good boy, dude. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Man, what a pain in the ass. Such a great atmosphere for a fight, though. Like, right out here on the beach with palm trees and water all around us and just everything, man. Well, goodbye, Zone ID Vice. Never see you again. It's funny, because I came all the way out here and there's not actually a Korok here at all, but there is a treasure chest, so... You know, maybe we'll check it out. I mean, to come all this way, it better be something awesome. Let me tell you, it's probably just like a hundred rupees or some crap. Also, um, using your right room here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, ho, ho, star fragment. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, guess what else is good? The fact that we made that travel medallion. We just warp right back to it. You don't have to walk all the way back. You just warp. 